Lisa, can you tell me when the first time was that you discovered that you had this gift or had these feelings? Well, it's actually kind of an interesting story because I didn't even realize that I did have anything interesting going on until somebody invited me to go to an angel reading. And this was after my husband was re-diagnosed with cancer. And, uh, you know, it was, it was such a scary time for me and, and I was raised very religious and didn't really know about angels or, or what their impact was. But somebody suggested that I go and so I'm like, all right, I'll go. And when I had the reading, something just flipped inside of me. I said, I have to figure out how to do this for myself. I want to I wanna learn how to channel angels. So I bought a book and the name of it's Angel Speak. And it's quite simple, really. You just have to sit down and be aware that you're going to be connecting with the angels and just write, Dear Angels, what would you like me to know? And then listen. And at first, I thought I was just making it up. I mean, I really didn't realize I was doing this for myself. But as I practiced more and more, I got great answers. And it was just very helpful. Kind of like a, it's like that perfect best friend that you wish was always there. But <laughs> so, um yeah, and, and it just grew from there. And I and because my husband just got more and more sick over the those two years that I had learned this, it really helped support me. Every night I'd write to my angels and it just it made the whole experience so much easier. So it must be difficult coming from the corporate life and then switching over to this conscious life. Um, how you know do the naysayers take it? Right. Well, that's a great question. And frankly, that's been probably my biggest challenge. It's been myself. How do I tell people that I went from being a certified public accountant for two of the biggest accounting firms in the country and then most recently working at a hedge fund in very mainstream corporate America, dealing and counting multi-millions and billions of dollars in the accounting work that I did, and now I meditate, I do yoga, I talk to angels, and I help people solve problems. So I now call myself a spiritual medium. And I, like I said, I had to get comfortable with being able to tell people that because it's so, it's so different from the upbringing that I had and the, the mainstream culture that we live in. But the more open I've been about it, the more receptive people are. It is pretty crazy how there's so many closet spiritualists out there, or people that are really interested, but they're afraid to talk about it. So I feel like I'm just, I'm a mainstream person that is now opening that door for people to walk through and get in touch with who they are. Because I truly feel that unless you're following your divine purpose here on earth, you're never going to be happy. Lisa, how would you explain what you actually do in a session? The way I usually start a reading is I start with a card reading. It's just some beautiful cards that I feel like it kind of loosens up this whole situation. People are generally a little nervous about the beginning of the reading and how it's going to go. So when I pull the three cards, it usually shows where you're blocked in this situation, how to fix the situation, and what your outcome will be. And it's amazing. Again. I don't know how it works, but it always seems to work exactly right. And then from that, I take people into kind of a meditative state. I walk them through a guided meditation, just a short one. Again, the more open that my client is, the more I can easily tap in to their guides, their higher self, and their loved ones that are on the other side if they have any messages, as well as their angels and, and any other beings of love and light that I call them that are there to help them. So once the person is in that relaxed state, then I quote unquote open my channel, which again is very hard to describe because it's really just me uh, stepping. It's almost in my head, I almost visualize myself stepping to the side, my brain, and then kind of just allowing an open funnel for any message to come through and I start speaking. And it's, it's pretty amazing. My voice changes. I can have various accents. Uh, many times I can, sh I can tell the shift in energy that comes through, the vibrational difference. People that have passed away, it's a much denser, heavier feeling, whereas the higher realms, I get a very light feeling. And then the other amazing thing is the emotion that comes through. Especially from passed away loved ones, I do get a lot of emotion, including crying or joy, or if they had any physical 
pains while they were here on earth a lot of times in order to validate for the client I'll, if it was a heart attack I'll suddenly feel a very intense pressure on my heart or any you know very very often I get physical feelings and the interesting thing though is sometimes I don't get very clear messages and uh, or the message doesn't resonate with the person but what I've always found is the message is always perfect no matter what it is even if it doesn't come through very strongly a lot of times that means that client needs to take some time to really reflect more on what it is they're looking for. Lisa, is there one particular moment when you really felt uh, that something was taking place? One of the most interesting stories that I've had was a live reading where I had a, one client and she's always known that she's can talk to spirits but she's very she's not very comfortable with the whole idea of it so she has come to me a couple of times and it was so interesting because when I opened my channel she suddenly her eyes got very big and said oh my goodness I, the entire room is filled with angels and that surprised me because I don't see them that's the other thing I the way I get information is just a knowing or that I can hear them and it's not as though they're speaking to me it's more just telepathically it's like you know what they're saying so that's how I communicate with the with the spirits but she could physically see these angels in this room and then to top it off she saw a human person in a Yankees t-shirt and he was raising his hand and and she could hear him I couldn't hear him so this again the whole event was so amazing and she said, well, he's, he's trying to tell you a message, Lisa. And I said, well, what's he saying? And so she explained that this was actually a dear friend of mine who had passed away two years ago, tragically, in a house fire. And he wanted me to know to believe in myself and to really keep moving forward with this work I'm doing because he, knew, he knows how important it is and how much it changes people's lives. So that was, that was early on when I started this process working with with clients and it really gave me the uh, it just gave me the the confidence to move forward in what I was doing because I mean for my client to hear from a <laughs> from a spirit to tell me to keep doing it I mean you can't make this stuff up